What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to generate a Nissan proximity key or smart key using the Autel KM100. We are going to be making a key for a 2012 Nissan Maxima. I'm going to be using one of Autel's universal Nissan keys. Now if you guys are not aware, Autel sells versions of keys such as the Nissan, Dodge, um, BMW. If you get those, they come with a keyblade, unlike their generic models. So just keep that in mind. So let's get started on generating this key. What we're going to do is at the menu of the KM100, select Universal Key. We're going to go to Nissan. So we can do a couple things here. A lot of these share similar frequencies, FCC IDs. But for this video, I'm going to show you my model. Got all the models here. I'll go down to M for Maxima. And you'll see your options. So we've got our button configurations. You want to pay attention to that. FCC IDs, make sure that those are correct. So just going down the menu to show you guys real quick what it'll do. Usually go up by year. Got quite a bit of options there. So it's not what we're looking for. It's our one right here, 315 millihertz, our chip ID 46, and our FCC ID ending in 49622. Um, pay attention to your buttons there, especially Toyotas. A lot of them don't have the panic button for some reason. So if a customer wants a panic button or all their buttons to work, make sure the pic picture looks right. What we're doing from here, we're going to take our key. We're going to insert into our antenna. It's going to look like that. We'll hit generate universal key. Now, a big important part of this I did before the video is it needs a battery. So make sure it has a battery in the key. If you put a battery in and the key generation fails, try to flip the key upside down see if it gets a better read that way overall it'll count down should tell us if there's any problems or not but hopefully it'll tell us success I want you guys to see how long in real time it takes for this to go down. A lot of people freak out and start canceling things or think it doesn't work by now, but some of these take time. All right, so universal key generation is completed. Do you want to continue generation? No, we don't have another key to do. If you do, you can hit continue, otherwise we're gonna hit completed. Now we're done, but what I'm gonna to do to prove my work here is I'm going to exit. We're gonna to go to frequency detection. Three fifteen millihertz. There's one way to make sure it worked. 
We're also going to do read and cloning. I'm going to check that chip out. ID 46, not locked. That's what you want to see. Hope this helps. Thank you.